the dog. Cyborg? What? A robot. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're looking at the greatest Aardman animations, movies, and short films of all time. So, laying eggs all your life and then getting plucked, stuffed, and roasted is good enough for you, is it? It's a living. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10 Chicken Run Dawn of the Nugget 2023. After 23 years, Aardman released the long-awaited sequel to 2000's Chicken Run. It's go time. It's alright. I went before we left. It's maybe not quite as good as the original, but that's a very high bar, and that certainly doesn't mean it's bad. It's got all the heart that Aardman is known for, as we reunite with Ginger, Rocky, and the other chickens years after escaping Tweedy's farm. Fire! They've now got a daughter, Molly, who's tired of life on their quiet island and wants to explore the world. The camera-driven gun-toting moles. Hey. Molly leaves one night and the gang gets roped into another chicken rescue mission, this time breaking their fellow fowls out of a chicken nugget factory in a loving send-up of James Bond films. Number 9. A Shaun the Sheep movie, Farmageddon, 2019. Eventually, Sean the Sheep would become so resoundingly popular that he got his own kids show on CBBC, which eventually led to him starring in two feature-length films. Farmageddon is the second of these. Paying homage to Spielberg epics like Close Encounters and E.T., Sean and his friends must help a small alien get back home while being pursued by the British government. Meanwhile, the grumpy farmer wants to capitalise on the alien panic by turning the farm into a theme park, putting more and more attention on it. Yeah. It's got everything you could want from a sci-fi send-up, with Aardman's trademark wit and charm. Number 8. Arthur Christmas, 2011 it's definitely one of the best Christmas films of all time, putting a new spin on the enduring story of Santa Claus. Dear Santa, are you real? If you live at the North Pole, how come I can't see your house when I look on Google Earth? The Claus dynasty is waiting for the current Santa, Malcolm, to choose his successor, but something keeps stopping him from retiring. Field elves jingle! Jingle jingle! Drop time 18.14 seconds per household! It's up to his bumbling son Arthur to save Christmas when one lonely child's present gets lost, while the elves back home stage a minor rebellion to try and make the rest of the family care about Christmas again. Though it's CGI instead of stop motion, all the warmth we've come to expect from this creative team is still there, this time with Sony's money behind it. And yes, do believe in Santa. He is real. He's the greatest man ever. Number 7. Creature Comforts, 1989. They try to make you comfortable, they try to put you in, 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 in a quite uh, nice situation. Though Creature Comforts is best known for its mockumentary TV series that was created in the 2000s, the idea dates back to one of Nick Park's earliest short films released in 1989. Like a grand day out, Creature Comforts is rough around the edges, but the genius is still there as a TV crew asks various zoo animals questions about their day-to-day -day lives. My room is, is a bit too small, really, and I've got so much stuff in it that if I get anything new, there's just nowhere to put it. It's only five minutes long, but given that it spawned such a great show, we'd be remiss not to include it. Well, sometimes you can't, you can't get out and about as much as you would like to. You're stuck in for some reason, like I'm stuck in today. Plus, it did win an Academy Award the following year, Aardman has always been about quality over quantity. Number 6. Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit, 2005. Gotcha, thieving monster! The only feature-length Wallace and Gromit outing, Curse of the Were-Rabbit came out right around Halloween, a perfect film for the occasion. 
Wallace and Gromit are now working as pest controllers to rid the town of the rabbits that are threatening that year's produce, but there's a twist. While trying to control the rabbits, Wallace accidentally infuses his mind with that of a rabbit. Lest you too taste the wrath of the were-rabbit! <laughs> he transforms into the titular were-rabbit and wreaks havoc on the town's vegetable population. Oh. Oh. This lasts until Gromit, as always, saves the day. It's certainly the spookiest film in Ardman's oeuvre, and also stars Helena Bonham Carter as the memorable Lady Tottington. Ah yes, Lady Tottington here, of Tottington Hall. Your ladyship! This is an honour! Number 5. Wallace and Gromit, A Close Shave, 1995. It looks okay to me. The short film that gave us Shaun the Sheep, now almost as iconic as Wallace and Gromit themselves, A Close Shave rounded out the original three short films. I'll soon have these cleared up. There's no trouble. Wallace finds himself blinded by love for Wendy as he cleans her windows, but soon finds himself drawn into the dark world of sheep rustling. Wendy is being manipulated by her pet dog, who's secretly scheming to turn the stolen sheep into dog food. I want no more of this rustling. Oh, it wasn't so bad when it was just the wool, but this is evil. At the climax of the film, we find out that Preston is actually a robot which is why it was completely fine to shove him into grinders of the Nitomatic. Preston is repaired, but Wallace gets his heart broken anyway. Oh no, not cheese. Sorry, it brings me out in a rash. Can't stand the stuff. Not even Wensleydale. It's another of the many Aardman films that have won an Oscar. Number 4. Shaun the Sheep Movie, 2015 The first feature-length film centering on Shaun and his flock, this one sends Shaun far away from Wallace and Gromit's fictionalised version of Wigan and into the city streets. Sean's scheme to have a day to rest goes awry when the farmer bangs his head and forgets who he is. He becomes a celebrity barber, while meanwhile, the novelty of having no farmer in charge quickly wears off for the animals, who decide to venture into town to bring him back. <laughs> Shenanigans ensue, especially when a villainous animal control officer decides that the sheep are a menace that need to be captured. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Number 3. Wallace and Gromit, A Grand Day Out, 1989 The very first Wallace and Gromit film, A Grand Day Out became an instant classic when it was shown on Christmas Day in 1990, getting nominated for the Oscar for Best Animated Short Film. No cheese, Gromit! A labour of love from Nick Park, A Grand Day Out took roughly seven years to make. Ooh, I don't know, lad. It's like no cheese I've ever tasted. The end result is a short film where Wallace builds a rocket that takes him and his beloved pooch all the way to the moon, which really is made of cheese, where they encounter a robot that gets angry at them for littering, but really dreams of going skiing. It was this whimsical tale that made Ardman a household name. <laughs> Number 2. Chicken Run, 2000 I wasn't on holiday, Babs. I was in solitary confinement. Oh, it's nice to get a bit of time to yourself, isn't it? An homage to classic war films like The Great Escape, Chicken Run sees a poultry farm recast as a POW camp that its imprisoned birds are desperate to leave. Led by Ginger, the chicken's increasingly elaborate escape attempts are repeatedly foiled until the circus rooster Rocky appears and promises he can teach them to fly over the fences. Pushy Americans, always showing up late for every war, overpaid, oversexed. And over here! Like Ardman's other films, Chicken Run appeals to everybody, with perfect comedy, beautiful animation, and some of the strongest writing in any of the studio's catalogue. They're chickens, you dolt! Apart from you, they're the most stupid creatures on this planet! They don't plot, they don't scheme, 
and they are not organised. As of 2023, Chicken Run remains a box office titan and the highest grossing stop motion animated film ever made. Given its immense quality, this is no surprise. Number 1. Wallace and Gromit, The Wrong Trousers, 1993. One of the most dastardly villains in cinema, The Wrong Trousers follows the notorious criminal penguin Feathers McGraw. Concurrently, Wallace has also acquired a pair of ominous high-tech trousers to take Gromit on walks. Gromit hates both the trousers and his new housemate, but when McGraw plans to use Wallace and the trousers to steal a diamond, it's up to Gromit to thwart his plan. The Wrong Trousers ends with one of the most elaborate, spectacular animation sequences in the history of the medium as they race through the house on model trains. Like a close shave after it, The Wrong Trousers also won the Academy Award for Best Animated Short Film. Let us know what your favourite animated movie is in the comments. <laughs> no one beats Victor Quatermain! Is that so? <laughs> Consider yourself dumped. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.